Light is a form of electromagnetic radiation. It travels in waves. Pass white light through a prism and it splits into a spectrum of colors. Violet light has a wavelength of 400 nanometers. As the wavelength increases, the color of the electromagnetic radiation changes. Red light has a wavelength of 700 nanometers. But is there anything beyond the visible spectrum? This probe is sensitive to electromagnetic radiation, including wavelengths which we can't see. Moving outwards towards red, it shows an increasing response. But this response is even greater for some distance beyond the edge of the visible region. This invisible radiation is known as infrared. The sun emits both visible light and infrared radiation. The only way our bodies can detect infrared is by its heating effect on the skin. Although we can't see it, we can use devices which can. A light bulb looks a cool blue through an infrared camera. Switch the lamp on, turn the voltage up slowly and the filament begins to emit heat. Heat shows up as white on the screen. When the voltage is low, the bulb doesn't glow, but it's still getting hot. This camera sees the heat long before the light, emitted from the filament on the left, is visible to our eyes. Emergency services, like the police, use similar cameras for surveillance at night. It's too dark to see anything, but the camera picks out a person's body heat, which this time shows up as black. The electromagnetic spectrum is a continuous spectrum of waves, from very short waves at one end to very long waves at the other. Visible light is just a tiny part of it, with a wavelength of between 400 and 700 nanometers. Infrared radiation has a longer wavelength than visible light. It has a wavelength of about a millimeter.